live. You're watching NBC4 LA News at 5. Millions of people die every year from strokes. Many who survive are left with speech problems, paralysis, and more. And now doctors are using stem cells to see if they can reverse the damage even after it occurs. Our Dr. Bruce is here right now. He often treats stroke patients in the ER. And I guess you spoke with the first patient in this study? First person ever in the study. And I got to tell you, it is true in an ER. If we get to you, we can save you. We can reverse strokes right in process. But if you wait too long, then you get damaged. Now, the first patient was fittingly an African-American who had a stroke at only age 39. I say fittingly because African-Americans have the highest risk of stroke. This study is the first of its kind. It could make a life changing difference we might be able to save you as I told you if we get to you quickly but after that irreversible damage occurs so in this case the stem cells may be able to reverse damage that has already occurred that's the difference let's take a look Felice Blanton had a stroke just one month ago my body went numb and my my brain was it was on but I couldn't talk I was extremely scared because, you know, this is my big sister and here she is, 39 years old and suffering from something really, really damaging and I just didn't know what this meant for our future. According to neurointerventional surgeon Dr. George Rapart, most patients who do not get treatment before the stroke damages the brain, as you can see in this white area on Valise's MRI, have little to look forward to because there is nothing that we can do for somebody right now after they've had a stroke. All they have to look forward to is an aspirin a day in physical therapy. You can see why on this dye study of the brain, a major artery is blocked, causing irreversible damage around it. Rapard hopes by taking bone marrow from a person's hip, sending that back east for processing, then removing pure stem cells that are flown back to Rapard for treatment, the difference can be made. We insert a catheter from the groin artery into the brain artery on the affected side of the brain and inject these five milliliters of stem cells. In animals, the chemical levels in the brain go up. The actual physical injury to the brain is reduced. Motor function in the animals has increased and blood flow in the animals has increased significantly. I wanted to be a part of it. I wanted to be the first person that they did this on. And Valisa was the first patient, although it's a double-blind study, meaning neither she nor the treater know who gets real stem cells and who does not. Valisa and her sister had no hesitation. They know this is particularly important for African Americans, where the risk for stroke is so high. I've heard so many bad things about people who've, who've passed away from, you know, the effects of stroke, and they just never get their lives back. And this is an opportunity for people to get their life back. Valisa has done very well since her stroke. Her recovery may have happened with or without the treatment. And she knows her willingness to volunteer will increase the odds for many others like her. And they may do just as well, maybe even better. Now, as I said, it's a double-blind study, so we don't know who gets stem cells, who doesn't. She's doing very well. Before, we could do nothing if damage already occurred. If the stem cells make a difference, we can help people like this. We can help people like the congresswoman. Mm -hmm. People who have had brain damage, stem cells may make a big difference in All the right. future. Dr. Right? Bruce, thank you so much, You're as welcome. always.